Life doesn't get better than this. <laughs> Welcome back guys, it's been a while. I've been busy over on TikTok, uploading every day. So if you're new to this channel, check out my TikTok first. Today, I'm in Northumberland, taking my daughter on a first ever wild camping trip. There's no music or unnecessary extras in this video. It's just us and our full authentic experience. <laughs> All right guys, it's late Saturday evening. And while everyone else is out on the piss, me and my seven year old daughter are out for a nice little whale camp in the woods. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> you do need to crouch. <sighs> Not like a good bit of fresh air. Straight from the source. Wish for luck. It looks different because it's all overgrown now. Love you. Right, bags down. Yeah. So if you figure out which way the top and bottom is, can you pull that top bottom bit down a bit? Yeah, do it all the way up here. Do that side. Look at it. These on your side. You do your side, I do mine. Wait, there's one. And there's a bit here that has a little loop that goes through it. Oh, you doing yours? Wait, no. It just goes half in. Yeah. Wait, there's one last one. Well spotted. Now I've got quite an eye catching tent so I decided to take this nice little camel top out with this. Just to not spoil the natural looks of the area, find any potential passers by or any other campers in the area. This is the setup that I use when I really don't want to leave a mark on the area when I'm having a fire. I use this little lightweight fire bowl and I dig a section out of the turf, stick it in 
have some little fire coals in there and then when I'm done put the section of turf back over and using the setup there's no trace that there's ever been a fire there. Yeah. <laughs> Sun's going to be going down soon. Go a bit fast. Fast. And do this with the finger. No, I didn't do that. Just set up camp, it's Saturday evening right now. <sighs> Come for a beautiful little wild camp in the forest with my seven year old daughter. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Cheeky little camper. <sighs> Just setting down, bedding ourselves down for a nice peaceful night's sleep. Just listen to this. The sweet sound of peace and tranquility. Can it get any better than that? Can you, darling? <laughs> Should nod it ahead. Well, uh, I'll see you later on in the evening, maybe through the night, and I'll catch you in the morning. What's this called then? That for me. Kia Kiss. Me, fork and spoon set. Is it Kia Kiss? Kia Kiss. K for, for knife. For a knife. Because he spelt, spelt with a silent kick. And F for fork, and S for spoon, K, F, S, knife, fork, spoon. Yeah. Wait, I can't open. Can you, um... Alright, we're going to use it in a minute. What is this? A spork. Spork. Spoon, fork, spork. Like, orange spork. Yeah, I know, just like... By the way, Aurora. You know what I just remembered? You're the best girl in the whole wide world. You're the best daddy in the whole wide world? Oh, I love you. So sweet. You see it? Boom! Mm. Kaboom! Mm. Like that. <laughs> Don't worry about stains on outdoor clothes. They're made to get muddy. Fire. Oh, I just burnt my mouth. <laughs> Some bits of it are super hot on there. You know it's still video. I know. You do? Put them down with you. Wait, what? You got another asset? Yeah. Full bag for just me and you. Wait. Hello. 
I've only got a little bit then. You shouldn't. The trick is if we pull out the side, if you put in the flame, it'll go black. Wait, what happens if you pull out the inside? Do the inside? Let's try. Do the inside. That would be cool. Turn your half. Only four, so we'll have like eight marshmallows all together. I don't know I only have four. This is my fourth one. No. No. We're gonna be fast. Alright guys, so we're just settling down for the night now, we've uh, toasted some marshmallows, had some sausage and beans, and now we're getting all cosy. It's quite a warm night like, I don't think I'm even going to use the sleeping bag. Have you enjoyed it so far? Yeah. I love spending time with you. I love spending time with you too. <laughs> <laughs> nice little track bar, good drink before bed. Then we'll be brushing my teeth. Uh, oh yeah, one unfortunate thing. They only just noticed on us, but something's bit us. Oh dear, there's always one eh? <sighs> See you in the morning. It's just gone half past six. It's finally brightened up a bit out here. Had a pretty crappy night's sleep, <laughs> but it's worth it when you look around and just listen to this. The best sound to wake up now. Whenever I wake up in the outdoors, I like to start my morning with some exercise. Not only do I find this useful to get warmed up on those cold mornings, but also it just gets us in a more energised and enthusiastic mood for the rest of the day. One, two, three, lunges. One, two, three, push ups. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, high five. Yes, well done. Good girl. <laughs> Just out for a run through the woods with me daughter. Life doesn't get better than this. <laughs> Whew. Feel that fresh air. Mind a step. <laughs> Back to base camp. Oh, sun's starting that to come up now. Great. Check this out. Hello. Come here, Aurora. Hello. Aurora, come here. I've got a question for you. What? Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. Have a look at the camera. You had a nice time? Yeah. Tell everyone at home what your favourite time has been so far. My favourite time? was exercise while camping or roasted marshmallows exercise exercise yeah that's what one here one two three <laughs> my baby girl i also like to include some meditation in the outdoors as well as some animalistic breath work and animalistic movements which really help to just release some of that stress that you've built up from your time in the city and really reconnect and get back in touch with nature and your natural animalistic side.
Now, I realise to a lot of people, it just kind of appears that I have some sort of screw loose. Just a really fun exercise and honestly feels like a really liberating experience. <laughs> to just let go of everything and just express yourself in a wild and crazy manner. Yeah! So cute. <laughs> that was a good way. Yeah! Now, we've got three hours to get picked up. So we've just been out here doing exercise in the fresh air, enjoying nature, baby. Woo! Woo! Yeah, that echo. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, deep in the heart of the forest. You enjoying yourself, Aurora? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that little cute smile. <laughs> Let's see how your biggest to do, Wolf Howl. Okay, you come three, two, one, and we'll do a biggest wolf howl and we'll see how far we can hear an echo. You ready? Three, two, one. Ow! 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 You went throughout that whole forest, though. Didn't get any back. We must be the only wolves out, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Another one. Well done. Wow, strong girl. Whoa. What you got there? What's this? What the? What on earth is that? I don't know. <laughs> this is where we camped last night, in this spot. Did our absolute best to leave absolutely no trace whatsoever. Leave this beautiful place, exactly as we found it. Leave all of nature and its natural beauty. Strong girl. Starting a burn? Nope. Mm -hmm. Over the river. Over the river we go. And off we go. And off we go. Hmm. Well, there we have it. That was me up in Northumberland taking my daughter on her first ever wild camping experience. She certainly enjoyed it and I hope you did too. If you want to see more authentic style videos like this, let us know down in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more wild camping, wild swimming and family adventures around the UK.